Flipping over to the second page, in the example number two, we're going to convert uh, each of these, an example in this page and one in the next, each of these into the uh, the form, the vertex form, y equals a x minus h squared plus k form. And then we're going to state the vertex, the direction of opening, and actually graph the parabola. So these two examples on this page and the next will highlight this whole procedure and how you uh, take the standard form parabola like we have here in A and put it in the vertex form. Now the very first procedure that you do, the first step, is you factor out of just the first two terms, not the complete common factor, but just whatever the coefficient of the x squared term is. Notice there's a 2x squared here, so I would factor a 2 out of the terms that have x's in them. Not the constant on the end, not the 29, just the 2x squared and 16x. Now, there actually is a common factor of 2x in the first two terms, but I don't want to factor the x out. I just want to factor the coefficient of the x squared out. So I factor a 2 out of a 2x squared, get x squared here. And if I factor a 2 out of a 16x, I'll get 8x. Now, leave some space here because we're going to add a number and subtract a number just like we added 9 and subtracted 9 in that example on the bottom of the first page. And of course, after the parenthesis, we've got this 29 here still. Now, the number you're going to add here is going to make x squared plus 8x plus that number a perfect square trinomial. And the way you find what that number should be is you take the 8 here from the 8x and you divide it by 2 and square that value. So the 8 from the 8x divided by 2 and you square that value. Now 8 divided by 2 is 4 and 4 squared is 16. So I will add 16 and subtract 16 in here. Now adding 16 and subtracting 16 is really adding 0. And so I haven't changed the value of this. It still is equivalent to the original 2x squared plus 16x plus 29, but it's in a different form. Now, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to factor very shortly the x squared plus 8x plus 16, but before I do that, I, this negative 16 is only there so that this is equivalent to the original quadratic. I want to take that negative 16 and I want to move it out here outside of those parentheses. Now remember, if you were to expand this out, the 2 is multiplied by everything in here. So when you bring the negative 16 out, and we're only bringing the negative 16 out, it gets multiplied by that 2. So bringing that out, what the next line will look like is this. Uh, x squared plus 8x plus 16 is the only thing left in the parentheses. Bringing the negative 16 out, it's multiplied by this 2, so that will be minus 32. And of course we have the plus 29. Now factoring, don't forget the 2 here, x squared plus 8x plus 16 will factor into x plus 4 squared. Remember this coefficient is half of that one, or it's the square root of this one. The nice thing about ha the half of the 8 is you get the sign right. If that's a plus 8, then half of positive 8 is positive 4, so we have x plus 4 here. Also, this number right here after the x is the value that you squared to get that 16 over there. So that factors into 2 and then x plus 4 squared. And of course, uh, the negative 32 plus 29 is minus 3 on the end. That's the y coordinate of your vertex. So the vertex, remember the x coordinate is the opposite. This is x plus 4 here. Then the x coordinate of the vertex is negative 4. The y coordinate is the same as this. So there's a minus 3 here. So negative 4, negative 3 is where the vertex is going to be. And this parabola opens up because this constant right here, remember the a value tells you whether it opens up or down. If a is positive, it opens up. If a is negative, it opens down. So we're going to plot the vertex here, the negative 4, negative 3 point. So negative 4, negative 3 would be right there. Now our, our parabola opens up. And so what we're going to do is we're going to find a point on one side of that vertex. So a convenient point you can use would be an x, see the x coordinate is negative 4 there, negative 3 or negative 2 or maybe negative 5 or negative 6. I'm going to use negative 2. I'm going to find the point that has an x squared of negative 2. So I'm going to put negative 2 in the, uh, the 
vertex form equation. I could use the standard form. It would give me the same value. So I'm going to put negative 2 in there. So notice I've substituted negative 2 in place of x. So I'm looking for the ordered pair that has an x coordinate of negative 2. And so we evaluate this. Negative 2 plus 4 is, of course, 2. And 2 squared is 4. So this is actually 2 times there's a 4 there, minus the 3. Now 2 times 4 is 8. Minus 3 would be 5. So the y value is 5 for that point. So I put negative 2 in place of x. That's the x coordinate, and the y value is 5. So that tells me that the point negative 2, comma 5 is on this parabola. And so we plot negative 2, 5. So negative 2, 5 would be right there. Now remember, the parabola is symmetrical. So here's the axis of symmetry going through here. So if negative 2, 5 is on the parabola, then this point over here, two units to the left of the axis of symmetry, and of course still the y coordinate of 5 would also be on. So we'll put a dot right there. And then we can draw our parabola. It would look something like that. Okay, flipping over to the third 